Um, the groove chain is a route up on Taipan Wall. It's an extension to a route called Groovy, which is um, was a 28, but the extension makes it 33, and it goes up this really radical black streak. And um, yeah, it's in the Grampians National Park in Victoria, and it's pretty sweet. So uh, the first part of the groove train is, I suppose, groovy, which is the 28 bit. Uh, it goes up this radical scoop, which is all slick and quite technical. It has a few tricky moves, but it's not too bad, really. Just sort of stemming and that sort of thing, and then you come out on the face and then go back into the next scoop, which is pretty rad. And um, yeah, it's pretty sweet. Gets you a little bit pumped, but it's, it's not too hard. All right, so um, Groovy was bolted, I think, in 97 by Rich Heap, and then uh, the extension was bolted by Zach Virtues, I think, in 2002, something like that. Um, and didn't I don't think it got tried that much just because it was a bit awkward to work because it's quite run out and that sort of thing. But I probably first tried it, uh, I think, when I did Gilgamesh, which was probably two, late 2008, and I think I, I almost did it that trip. I fell off probably three moves from the top that trip, but I didn't manage it. And then um, the next trip back came down. First day, I just did all the moves, did all the sections. And then the next morning, I think I did it first go on a, on a foggy, brooding morning uh, in 2009, I think. March 28th. Yeah, it's pretty, pretty fucking rad. Um, once you get to the top of Groovy, I suppose you have a bit of a, a rest with a knee bar, but you're not really that pumped, so you just sort of do a token shake out. And uh, you leave that, you do a bit of a pounce up to a jug, and um, what do you do? You have this awkward little rock over on some little slopey things, it's a bit sort of sequency, but once you sort that out, you get to a pretty good edge, you make a clip, and the next section, which goes into the black streak, is pretty radical. you're shaking out on that black streak for a little while because it's a jug. Um, you're a little bit pumped when you leave it, but oh, it's not too bad. But um, you make some big moves up to it, some edges. You again tuck into the wall really tight, do some little tic tac moves on some pinches, which is rad. And um, what do you do? You come down to an edge, go up to an edge, go up again, and you have to get yourself in this, this funny little back step thing and oh, snatch this edge, which is rad. And then you're getting above the bolt as well, so it's a little bit engaging, uh, if you know what I'm saying, and then uh, then you have to climb a little bit further above the bolt as well.
okay, you can shake out there a bit, but it's not as good as the last rest, so you, you're cooking by this stage, basically. From there, you just really have to bone down for the rest of it, so I think it's 13 or maybe 15 move boulder problem to the top, and it's just like tucked into the wall, thin edges, really snatchy moves, but you have to hold the positions pretty perfectly to, um, to be able to sort of get yourself up there. Uh, yeah, I was definitely screaming like, I don't know, some sort of, I don't know.